Guglielmo Marconi's dedication to his work on long-distance radio transmission is well known. What isn't known is what Marconi may have thought where his work might lead. He most likely would have had no idea it would evolve into the use of radio transmitters and receivers in migratory bird tracking. To what would have been Marconi's delight, this is indeed true. Tracking has been conducted on shorebirds right up the road at the Monomoy National Wildlife Refuge. Birds must be captured to attach a radio transmitter to them. Different kinds of nets are used to capture migrating birds. Typically, mist nets gently capture small migratory birds in flight. A whoosh net is a bungee-powered net that launches from the ground to drop over small groups of birds like oyster catchers. The cannon net is designed to be deployed with a firing device to catch large flocks of shorebirds. When the cannon net is fired, biologists and volunteers dash to the nets to carefully extract birds, sometimes exceeding 200 individuals per capture. Shorebirds are marked using uniquely coated lime green color flags so biologists can track populations during migration. MODIS is an international collaborative network that uses automated radio telemetry to track migratory birds. Researchers attach small transmitting devices called nanotags to the backs of a select number of migratory birds. Nanotags are small, lightweight devices that may weigh only two-tenths of a gram. They are commonly attached with super glue and are powered by a very lightweight internal battery. When tag birds fly by MODIS receivers, data is collected and is distributed to researchers and the public. The data address a variety of information gaps, including movement, habitat use, and migration relative to weather patterns. These data guide conservation priorities and management decisions. Dr. Pamela Loring is a wildlife biologist with the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, Division of Migratory Birds. During her graduate studies at the University of Massachusetts Amherst, Pam was part of an early pilot program for modus tagging of American oyster catchers on South Monomoy Island. So in 2013, we nanotagged oyster catchers at Monomoy National Wildlife Refuge on Cape Cod and at sites uh, on Nantucket in partnership with Nantucket Conservation Foundation. We did the oyster catcher work as an early pilot of the MODIS technology because they are a large bodied bird that can carry a larger transmitter. They're very easy to monitor using field assistants that have spotting scopes that can watch the birds from a safe distance and keep an eye on their behavior. And because there was a big information gap on their movement patterns. Dr. Loring managed additional research at Monomoy from 2013 to 2017, conducting the first tests on around-the-clock nanotag tracking of common terns, in addition to oyster catchers. Later, she expanded her research to include piping plovers and roseate terns, two federally listed endangered species. The MODIS system has been used to track migratory birds along the coast, within the range of receivers. MODIS gives very fine scale information on the timing and occurrence of birds and when they move between receivers in a regional area. A bigger challenge for researchers is how to track migrating birds that spend the majority of their time flying over oceans out of reach of MODIS receivers. Telemetry that uses satellites to monitor bird movements can answer these types of questions. Over time, tags have become smaller and lighter. Only recently have satellite transmitters been available in weights light enough, two grams or less, for tracking smaller bodied species. Today, some tags are configured with a solar panel that allows recharging of internal batteries. Satellite tags provide the ability to relay immediate tracking information from all over the world. The two tracking technologies working together give researchers a larger sample size of migrating birds moving along coastlines, over open water, and often remote areas like South America. These advancements continue to support researchers to study migratory birds during their remarkable annual journeys. With a nod to Guglielmo Marconi for his groundbreaking work on long distance radio transmission, we asked Dr. Loring what Marconi would think of her research work using automated radio telemetry. I would hope that Marconi would find our work with MODIS very interesting, and I would 
really love to have the opportunity to sit down with Marconi and talk to him about sending signals um, across the ocean, how to increase range, how to maximize our technology and things like that.